Hi guys, welcome to part two of this lesson. So in the previous lesson we looked at just breaking down this long lick into individual parts. Now we're gonna work at stringing it together. So it probably seems quite obvious, but I'm just gonna take the first two licks and um, practice them together. Now one thing that you might find if you've already started using a metronome and you've built these licks up to a certain speed, is that when you come to join them together, you're going to have to drop the speed initially, just while you get used to the join. And then again, you can then use the metronome to kind of gradually increase your speeds on this. So lick one and two together. So that's the two together. Um, let me see if I can just go to that again and then we'll look at the join. There we go, that, so you got that. So if you find that joining, you know, I'm playing the entire entirety of licks one and two, but if you find it's the transition that's giving you a problem, maybe just take the, the last four notes or, or something around that of lick one and then the first of lick two and work at that. In this case, I think I'm doing the last five notes of lick one. You know, so that might be a, you know, those little transitions might need the work. Maybe take it to there. So if that's an issue, then that's what I would practice. There you go. So that's putting licks one and two together. Okay, now I'll work at the transition between lick two and lick three. <laughs> So again, you know, if I need to, maybe let's just look at the last bit of lick one, or oh, sorry, lick two, going into lick three. So maybe just that much. So that's what I do with licks two and three. Okay, lick three going into lick four. Let's see what we have here. Yeah, nothing too tricky there, I don't think. Yeah, no, there's nothing, there's no big jumps or anything like that and picking is quite straightforward. Um, sometimes though, you know, if it's just the note combination and you find maybe going into lick four that uh, you're losing your way, then again, you can always go back to practicing the individual licks. That's something that I will always do when I'm, and it doesn't matter what I'm learning. It could be a lick, it could be a song, it could be anything. If there's little problem areas, I can always go back to those little parts that I need to practice on their own. So there you go, that's licks three and four. Actually, sometimes with lick four, that it's not the most comfortable combination. You know, four, four, three, two, they're back to four with the fingers. So again, just be patient with it. If you find it difficult, slow it right back down to whatever speed feels comfortable and where you can play it cleanly. Now we'll join lick four and five together. So yeah, like I say, you know, if the licks go together really easily and it's fine, then you can move on. But again, if there's any sort of kind of transitional things that are 
tricky we can work on those so i could take like the last four notes of lick four uh, i've got to think what they are <laughs> and, and then to the first part of lick four uh yeah lick five sorry so maybe up to that point And then once I feel like I'm getting the handle of the transition, then put it together. Here you go, licks four and five together. Okay, now the last part, we're gonna put licks five and six together. Let's see what we have there. So again, the transition, we're kind of coming out of. So, you know, again, last four notes of, although the, first, the, the fourth is a slide, so maybe from the last five. So, you know, you can work out what, how much of each lick you need to practice, but, or even the last three notes, I suppose. And that goes back to my earlier lesson when I was 14 to 17 on at the end of lick five. You could hammer it. It might make transition a little bit easier rather than picking both notes. And I find that sometimes I'll do it one way, sometimes I might do it another. The main point is to work on, you know, this is the joy of breaking things down into smaller chunks is that you can really work on those areas that need the most attention and then you make the most use of your practice time. You're not practicing stuff that you can easily do. You're just working at the tricky bits. Here you go. So that's joining licks five and six together. Now that we've looked at each little transition from lick to lick, maybe let's try and build a little bit more. Now I've done this in six phrases, so probably the next stage is maybe stringing the first three licks together. And again, initially do it really slowly because whenever you're adding stuff together, um, you know, it's more difficult than when you're playing these licks on their own. So let's see how I go with that. So that was from lick one to lick three. And already you can see it's a very long phrase. <laughs> so, uh, but because we've already practiced those transitions between each little section, it becomes much easier when we start putting it all together. So I'll try that one more time. There you go. You notice I'm not trying to burn with it. I'm literally just trying to, my main purpose at this stage is just to get it right and to get it smooth. Okay, let's try it now going from lick four to lick six. So the second half of the whole phrase. <laughs> That's it. So I've noticed when I just played it there that lick four is still a little bit of a problem area for me with that four, three, two, four combination. So that's probably something that I'll go back to and work on a little bit on its own. So again, uh, sometimes I find with that last lick with all the big stretches, sometimes there might be a missed fret. And again, that's something else that I can work on. Okay, now, once you feel like you're confident with those two halves, let's see if we can put the whole thing together. And again, I'm gonna do this really slowly. At this stage of the game, it's really just making sure that I can get from one end of the lick to the other, 
you know, relatively unscathed. So hopefully showing you the way that I would build up to um, something like this has kind of helped you to kind of, uh, yeah, break down anything. And like I say, I, we're using a lick for this, a very long lick, but it could be anything. It could be a song, it could, yeah, literally, or, or a section of music that you're needing to work on. Breaking it down into smaller chunks and working on it like that, um, I find is the way that it just makes the whole thing a lot easier. Okay, guys, that's the end of this lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to talk about the theory behind it and some of the melodic ideas. Okay, take care guys and I'll see you for another one real soon.